Hey, this is Silas, and today I'm going to be unboxing for you the Corsair Vengeance M95 mouse. Its cousin is the M65, which is geared a little bit more towards FPS gaming, and the M95 being a little bit more towards uh, people who want to spend some time macroing. So anyway, let's turn down the camera so we can get this thing unboxed. Once again, if you want to support me, you're welcome to purchase it in the links below. That helps me out quite a bit. Once again, thanks for all of you checking it out. Let's turn it down, and let's get it unboxed. Alright, M65 packaging. Very similar to the M65 that I showed before. Back of the mouse, some of the key features on it. Another image of the mouse. Uh, OS is supported. A little bit about uh, some of the technical specs needed to run the mouse itself. The front obviously has a, a cutout of the mouse. Strange kind of shape. Designed to be hung. Um, this is part of their MMO mouse series. Got a couple pieces of tape that has to be removed. Okay. Pull out the tab that's holding it in. Slide it back. Empty box. Plastic comes off the top. Uh, paper holding in the mouse itself. This mouse comes in black as well. So a triangular insert has the quick start guide. Tells you how to plug in a mouse for those of you who've never done this before. Warranty information. Tells you about if you need to have this warrantied, some of the things you need to do, and the mouse itself. Obviously, you can get the drivers online. Mouse itself is pretty weighty, has a uh, shiny surface, buttons here and here. Uh, the front button being easier to push than the secondary button, I'm assuming that's so that you don't slide off and hit it as easily. Another button on top, left, right, scroll wheel. Scroll wheel has a button as well. No buttons on the side. A textured surface. I'm sure you can hear that. Uh, makes it easier. Uh, just like the M65, mouse comes, uh, cord doesn't come out to the direct center. A little bit off to the side. Lots of buttons off here. As you can see, plenty of options to macro to. Software allows you to do that. On the bottom, the laser optical mouse. A nice braided cable with a little bit of cable management here. Uh, and the USB connection plug into the back of the computer. Good to go. Mouse doesn't have any mouse changing weights. Nice smooth pads. It's uh, fairly heavy. Uh, obviously, this mouse is meant to be gripped. Uh, this is probably not a finger mouse because you want to be able to grip it and be able to access all of your buttons on the side. Obviously focused at more of an MMO audience overall. Very nice looking mouse. I appreciate the fact that it comes in white. My case is white, so it kind of goes with my whole theme. Also available in black for those of you who want that. All right, so once again, this is Silicus, and I'm going to finish off the unboxing with the review portion of the M95 mouse. So a little bit about it is it's obviously targeted similar to its cousin mouse, the M65. The M65 is great for R uh, RTS players and for specifically for FPS players because it has the set and forget and minimal upkeep and uptime in order to get maximum usage out of it. What does that mean? That means you can plug it in and basically use it. Install the software, decide where your DPI is, and you're done. For those of you who actually want to use your mouse for more than just a set and forget um, and want to spend some time customizing it, making it exactly what you want it to be, the M95 would be great for you. So it has tons of buttons. I don't know about you, but that is a considerable amount of buttons. Nine of them, in fact. Two more at the top. One here. Total of 15 buttons. That is a ton of buttons. So if you're going to spend time actually you know, quality time setting up. The software is is much, much better than it was for the M90. It still needs a little bit of love for streamlining and making sense of the user interface, but so far I think they're on a great track. I really appreciate the fact they spent a lot of time with construction. I love the brushed aluminum kind of bottom to it. I mean, it's a solid mouse. I mean, sometimes when you squeeze a mouse and you're like, yeah, you're gonna last about two months. 
because it makes noise. This one is solid. Uh, it has a nice textured side to it. No buttons there, easy to grab. Feels good. Nice texture on the top. It's very, very smooth, but still, I still can hang on to it, no problem. I like the fact that they put some sort of coating on it, some sort of uh, maybe anti-reflective on it that doesn't show fingerprints quite as well. So oftentimes when you have a nice shiny mouse like this, you touch it and it looks like it's now ne not ever been cleaned and you've been using it for six months. This doesn't. I mean, I've now been manhandling this thing on the 29 outtakes it takes to do some of these videos. Anyway, so it has 20 million clicks. It's a lot of clicking. Some of you probably can accomplish that pretty quickly, but 20 million clicks should be a very long time for the majority of gamers out there. It has the new Avago sensor, which is probably, no, definitely the best sensor at the time of this making this video. It's in a lot of the top mice out there. This one joins the ranks. So you have obviously some options between this white one and uh, here's a picture. Here's the the black version of it looks nice. Uh, it's got onboard memory, 48 kilobytes, so you can save several of your settings so that you can enjoy switching your profiles without having to worry. Like, let's say you go to a LAN party or a gaming event or you know a professional tournament where they're like, bring your mouse. You plug it in. Oh, great. Now I have to program it. No worries. It's got you. So anyway, if you got any questions, put them down below. I'll try to answer them the best I can. One last disclaimer for any sort of peripheral is that it is a very custom experience. Make sure you spend some quality time actually with your units to make sure that you like them. So a lot of times you'll get a mouse and 90,000 people say, it's awesome. You get it and you're like, it's terrible because it's obviously designed at a certain customer and every person is different. So spend some time with your peripherals, really get to know it and find out if this is the one for you. I personally enjoy mice with lots of buttons for certain games. And other, I actually get two mice usually plugged into my computer and I switch, switch between them depending on what I'm doing. So spend some time with your mice, learn about it, anything to do with your peripherals, get some quality time. And if you got any questions, put them down below. I'll try to answer you. Thank you for all the fabulous people who are out there who give me a hand in answering the bazillion questions I sometimes get a day. Anyway, thumbs up for the video. Like me on Facebook. Check me out on Twitter. If you got any questions, hit me up. Thanks.